In this demo video, we're going to take a look at the new lifecycle management feature found in vSphere 7, vSphere Lifecycle Manager. Supporting server vendors will provide a hardware support manager, or HSM, that once installed inside vCenter can be used to manage vSphere Lifecycle Manager. I'm using Dell R640s in my lab, so my HSM is Dell Open Manage Integration. But let's take a look at Lifecycle Manager first. A desired image in VLCM consists of a base ESXi image that can either be manually uploaded or pulled from a vSphere depot, and vendor add-ons that are packages or vendor-specified components like firmware and drivers. The first thing I'll do is create a host credential profile. This is where I give my username and passwords for my iDRAC as well as my ESXi hosts. I'll provide the servers in my cluster, and then I'll test my credentials. Next, you'll need to create a cluster profile that associates your firmware repository. I've already created one called Dell vSAN, so let's take a look. When choosing a firmware repository profile, I could just choose the Dell default catalog, but I want to make sure that my vSAN cluster has all drivers and firmware that are supported on the vSAN HCL. So therefore, I've created my own DRM vSAN profile. Next, I'll select the servers in my cluster that I want to manage. I'll also choose a schedule for drift detection and then click Finish. Now that I've determined my desired ESXi version and my vendor add-ons, it's time to put all of this together inside of my image. From the Select Firmware and Drivers add-on, I'm going to choose that Dell vSAN profile that I created earlier. Once I hit Save, this is going to validate both ESXi as well as the firmware add-ons that are inside of that profile against all of the servers that are associated with my profile. Upon compliance check, I can see that several of my servers are not in compliance. My ESXi version is fine, but I've got some outdated firmware, so I need to go ahead and remediate these servers. I can choose to remediate one server at a time, or remediate all. I'm going to go ahead and remediate all. At this point, VLCM will do one more compliance check to make sure that everything is the same, and then it will start one server at a time by putting the server in maintenance mode, moving the workload off non-disruptively, and then just like vSphere Update Manager VUM, perform a rolling upgrade of the servers. Information about the upgrade can be found here in the Updates tab, but for detailed logs, you can go to your Hardware Support Manager's Log tab. These are firmware upgrades, so each server will actually reboot and install the firmware, reboot again, and then do another compliance check. Logging into my iDRAG, I can see that the firmware upgrade is in progress. Once complete, the server restarts and runs a compliance check. Once it realizes that the servers are in compliance, it'll move on to the next server. If you're a VxRail customer, then you've already grown accustomed to these lifecycle management capabilities inside VxRail Manager. But for vSAN ReadyNode customers, this is an exciting step in the direction of delivering simple, reliable, and consistent lifecycle operations for vSphere and HCI clusters. VMware Storage. Real. Today.